Before making any changes to your InDesign document, it is important to identify the page sequencing required for your booklet or brochure. Let's start with a simple layout. In order to make a closed gatefold brochure, we must identify how many panels and how many pages are in the layout. Step 1. A gatefold brochure has four panels. Each panel has a front and a back, so it also has eight pages. This is important because your InDesign document must also have eight pages. Step 2. The next thing to identify is where your spine will be. A gatefold brochure doesn't have a traditional spine, but if we want to set up our document in InDesign, we must choose a spine location for our gatefold brochure that will be in the very middle of the brochure. We'll end up with two panels to the right and two panels to the left, or four pages to the right and four pages to the left. Everything we do to set up our complex fold will start from the spine, whether we are working on a 48-page book with a gate cover or a four-panel closed gate fold, like in this example we're working on. Step 3. You should create a physical dummy. A dummy is a not-to-scale mock-up of a project that allows designers and printers to see how pages interact with one another in a layout. It also allows you to make sure that your fold is functional. You can see from my example here that I created a four-panel folding dummy. It has four panels or eight pages because every panel has a front and a back, which is a front page and a back page. And you can also see that I took pictures from several angles. The first picture, I'm looking straight down before I do my final fold. So the right and left hand panels have folded in, and then I could take it again and fold it closed, like in the last example on the right hand side. I also took a picture to show that it will have four panels and the panels will fold in towards the center spine. Step four, identify and label the core pages on your dummy. The core pages are the regular pages on a book, not including any additional fold-out panels. Our example of a closed gatefold brochure can be considered a four-page brochure with an extra fold-out panel off the front and off the back. Number the core pages as if the fold-outs will not be part of your InDesign document, and start with the front cover. This is easier to do when you're working with a book, and it's harder to do in a brochure like our gatefold, but that's good because our example will go through it. You can see on my dummy here, I opened it up and I figured out when I close, when the brochure is closed, the front cover is page one and the back cover is page four. And so the other side of page one becomes page two. So this is the back side of the panel. And then the inside on the right hand side will be three and then page four is on the back. I left the panels blank because I'm trying to figure out how to create my InDesign document first and then I will figure out how to add additional panels to the outside. 